Disneyland, I think we Disneyland here. Yeah, because yeah, that's food, right? That's food. Yeah, talking about it, I think it's okay. Yeah. Chocolate Everybody knows London Chocolate Room. Yeah, it's so popular. Yeah, it's so popular. It's on TV, you know? Yeah, London Chocolate Room. Yeah. Oh, well, then, no then you got the app. Who was the whole world? Who was the whole world? London. I went to Malaysia, I see London Chocolate Roll. Uh, in London Singapore, Chocolate Roll is from London. 7 Eleven, I see London Chocolate Roll. Wow, then you're like, <laughs> no, Malaysia is like, a lot like rotation and cheese share. Same kind of food, right? Okay, okay, mm-hmm. let's continue, right? So the diagram with a tear in the seat, so somebody sat on it and somehow uh, managed to tear the seat, right? So the tear has allowed the spring to pop out. Which of the following describes what caused the spring? And then later on, right? Yeah, which of the following cause the spring to pop up? Two. Two. Oh, the answer is four. The spring had been compressed under the cloth covering the chair and the tear removed that force. Okay, when you said you said two, right? The spring had been compressed under gravity. No, it's not gravity, right? Not gravity. It's not gravity, right? So it's four. Okay, next. Okay. Okay. Next is the boy. I think you didn't want to explain thirty-seven. I didn't explain thirty-seven. Thirty-seven or. Oh yeah, you didn't want. Okay, thirty-seven. Did I give you the answer? Thirty-seven is four. Right. Okay. So, which of the following statement best explains the longer spring? In diagram two, so the diagram two has a has, has has got a longer string, right? The reason is because uh, y does not exert a force on x anymore. Okay, uh, what kind of force do you think this is? Oh. Magnetic force, right? Repulsion, uh. Repulsion. Repel, okay. yeah. repel. Uh, okay, next is the boy with the bat. Okay, the, the above diagram shows the force. So what is he trying to do? He's trying to swing and hit the bat. Changing the direction. Right. Yeah, so 39 is uh, 4. Right. Changing the direction. He's trying to hit the bat. So he's changing the direction of the force. Next, question 40. So question 40, we have this crane that is using the force of magnetic, magnetic attraction. To attract the car, the body, the car body. So what force are there over here? You think there's gravity? So yeah, very good. Okay, A and C. Yeah. So there's gravity and magnetism. Gravity because the gravity is everywhere. Magnetism because it's trying to. Lift up. Yeah. Okay. So the answer is? Four. 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 Okay. A and C. Okay. The answer is three. I don't three know why. Three is C. Uh. There's gravity. Okay, next question. The table lists some activities where frictional force is either useful or not useful. Which one is correct? Incorrect, sorry. Incorrect. Walking. Friction during walking. Is it useful or not? Yeah. Useful. Of course, huh? How about, uh, really yeah, running. yeah, running is yeah, useful also, right? Roller skating, ice skating, is friction useful? Number three, number two, number three. 41 is uh, four. Huh? Why four? Uh, because roller skating, you want less friction. Okay. Roller blade, you know, roller blade? Uh-huh. Do you want a lot of friction? Yeah. Or oh, roller blade, you know? You want to Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go fast. Yeah. So it's not useful. You want to roll fast. Huh? Roll, oh yeah, yeah. Roll, roll, roll the boat. Uh, not roll the boat. Uh, roll. Okay, forty-two. Which of the activities listed below increases friction? 
So wetting a knife is a reduced friction. So when you run a broom to wet cement, you get a lot of lines. When there are a lot of lines happens is that after it's dry, uh, people stepping on it will have more friction. Cool. Okay, next, 43. Can you put a coin? Okay, what's the answer for this? 43? Two. Two. Yeah, that's right. In the marble pot. Smoother, huh? Smooth. So what is Henry trying to find out in the experiment? Uh, one. Uh. One. No. There is three. If a rough surface provides more friction than a smooth one. Okay. Now he's not trying to find out the amount of friction because he can't measure the amount of friction. So it's not one. Right? Okay, next one, 45. Which opponent could he include in his list? Four. Yeah. That's right, 45 is four. And 46. 46 is three. 46 is one. Oh. Okay, friction at cost rate is hair over time. Oh, man. Okay, next. 47. How many cut out pieces of fish? Right. So, uh, which of the following best describes the force Tommy puts to use in fishing? Okay. <laughs> Attraction, right? For, because uh, the magnet is going to attract the thing. We often use this our fishing. Oh, that one. Ah, fishing. Ah, fish, fish, fish. Oh, that one. Ah, 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 Okay, so Shiraz held the temporary magnet as shown. Uh, which item is incorrect? Is it three? The answer for 49 is four. How made out of happy is one? No, at, 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 least, at least it's not a... Uh, incorrect, uh, incorrect. Okay, which part is incorrect? Three. No, no, which, which, part of the, which part of this thing is incorrect? Is it the number of items picked up? Yeah. Non magnetic material. Right? Now the hairpin, hairpin is it a magnetic material? Yes, metal. Ah, uh. uh, metal, okay. So steel paper clip also metal. Yo. Right? What's paper clip? It's just paper, right? Wood shaving also is not. Okay? Non magnetic material. Okay, let's look at 50. Wow, you have this little girl. Hi. Hey, moving the bag, huh? 
Right, is so it two? D is three. I A and C. I hate A number three. Has to work against friction because of the if she's dragging it against the floor. Yeah. Right. B does not have to work against friction. That's not true because uh, the wheels do they reduce? Do they make friction equal to zero? They only reduce. You know what I mean? Right. They only reduce. Uh, they don't like make it zero. Uh. C. Uh, the wheels have reduced the friction, so that's true. Alright. Next one, the diagram shows the magnetic charge in this thing. Tell me it's two. Right? Okay, one. One. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> so no I... nails will be attracted to the rod. Why? Why? Ah, time to use my thing again. Okay. Don't use green color. Huh? Okay, it's this thing. Purple color. What is this? Steel rod. Right, is it a magnetic material? Yes. Yes, right. So magnetism cannot pass through a magnetic material. All the time, huh? Magnetism cannot pass through. Okay. It cannot pass through. But then it will attract what? Cannot. Magnetism will be stuck here like going out, going out, going out, going out. But then, but then it will attract the steel rod, what? Right? Yeah, it will attract the steel rod. But the nails will not be attracted. Why? Because magnetism going out, going out, cannot pass through. It's stuck here. Like this is so weird now. It's stuck. Stuck here. <laughs> yeah, like his head. Can you see that? Magnetism is stuck there. Um, it, can't, it can't pass through because of the... Okay, one thing I learned during this lesson. Magnetism is green. Okay, the steel rod, yeah. right? The steel rod uh, makes it impossible to pass through. Okay? You understand this? So this is an important concept, uh. magnetism cannot pass through magnetic material. Okay? Next. This thing in. Okay, 52. Okay, 52, we have the, we have the magnetic board versus the, uh, what is that? The pin, the pin, pin type of board. Okay? So 52, what advantage does A have over B? A has stronger. Uh, Just kidding, uh, So A uses magnets, right? Yes, that's for, right. For, uh, A uses magnets. Are you correct? Just kidding. Okay, next one, 53. Please tell me it's 2, sir. 2, yeah. Yay! I am the champion. Most Christian, right? So, because it's rough, uh, rough wooden surface, so rough wooden surface is very difficult to uh, pull the thing through. Okay? So, most Christian. Okay? So, the next part. Oh, the next part you have to do. Uh. Hi, yo. Okay, let's try to. Let's try to. Write it down. Okay. Are we doing it together? Yeah. Let's see how many questions. What? I got 74, got 20 questions answered. Cannot finish today, you know. Try to do as many as you can, huh? Okay, then I'll play Clash Royale on your, on your iPad. Let me choose the blue one. Okay, let's see. Wow, so... Okay, let's take a look at the first one, right? So, classify the above activities according to push or pull, right? Push or pull. Let's let's look at the activities, right? So first one, P. P is a pull. So we put it down here. Q is a pull. Uh, sorry. Q is a pull. pull. What what is it doing? Pulling the zip, right? Okay, uh, I, I can jump me demonstrate. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, R, R is a push. No. Why? Because they are light. Like that. They are unlike. Huh? Light pull. Unlike. Unlike. Light pull that. Oh. I think it's north, so north. Oh, so they repel? Yeah, they repel. Oh, sorry. So they repel. Oh, sorry, I thought they attract. Ah, attract is here. So this is like a, a S. S would be pull. Okay, what else is over here? 
ass is over here. No, not my ass is over here. <laughs> okay, can? <laughs> so, yeah. It can, is it, you prefer it is, it can be harmful or useful? Harmful or useful? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so this, uh, how, do we, how do you explain that? You say that forces. We cannot see a force. Forces. Can be destructive. Oh, you force in there. Is it A, B? Okay. Is it A, B, D for Okay, put out the statement that I put by putting a tick yeah. beside them. So we cannot see a force. That's true. Okay, we cannot see a force. We can see the effect of a force. That's true as well. All forces are destructive. No, that's not true. A force can bend, break, or change the shape of an object. That's true. And only one force can act on any object. Force. That's force. Because you can, you can push object. Yeah, okay, so is that okay? You just pick three over there. <coughs> is it earthquake, tsunami, landslide? No, effects of a force. No, effects. Yeah. No, what, is, what are the effects of a force? Okay. Remember, we, we actually memorized that, you know? So, for example, a force. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember already. Can move an object. Move an object. Yeah, the force can also stop. Stop an object. An object. Right? Can can I like, destroy an object? <laughs> no, no need. Uh, what else? The speed. Oh, uh, the force speed of object. Can change. Speed of an object. Okay. Easiest is gravel paths. Uh, easiest to the most difficult to walk on. Easiest means the uh, most friction, right? Gravel path. Most friction. Gravel path. Is it a gravel path? Which one is the most friction? Yeah, very good. The gravel path. The cement floor. Hmm? The carpeted floor. Carpeted floor. Okay, carpeted floor followed by the cement, cement floor. floor. What what is wet parquet? Parquet. Parquet is like wood. Wood? Yeah. There is wet parquet, no? Yeah, wet. Floor, so by the polish, polish, marble floor, marble floor, and the icy path. Yeah, you can't walk on the icy path. Okay. Yeah, you can't walk. It's like it's like. You want to slide it, lor? Yeah, it's slip and fall. Okay. Yeah, I can copy that. So we just do ah, uh, mm. until you say stop. Mm. Okay, please continue to do.